How's up, y'all? It's Poppins Cracking. It's D Boss Reacts. It's a toesy bed. It's titled TikToker Destroys His Career by Attacking Critic. I saw this story floating around, but I had no idea that it was involving Jeff. I love Jeff. I have watched so many of his videos. I have learned so much from him. So this breaks my heart that somebody attacked him. What? And he's so little. <laughs> That's so out of line. And this is not to, to be shady, but I have seen him stand next to several people. And he's 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 pretty short. Okay, I don't know how short he is, but he's 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 little. Okay, <laughs> he got some size on him, but he's he's little. So it's wild that this big man that I'm seeing in the thumbnail has towered over him and attacked him. But maybe he's wrong. What if he? I don't know. <laughs> I might be eating my words. But let's see what happened exactly. Let's watch. This TikToker and look how will regret this flying. moment forever as it will likely have what serious happened? implications for his career and his freedom. So the guy on the left here is the gym TikToker by the name of Big Mike Van Wick. And the guy familiar. he just jabbed in the neck is another cool. gym influencer by the name of Jeff Nipper. Both of these guys have massive Jeff. social media platforms and over the last couple of days they've been beefing online. Unfortunately for both of them, I guess, uh, they work out at the same gym. And what we just saw is the outcome of their online beef. So to give you guys some context, clearly both of them are gym influencers and bodybuilders. And in the gym influencer sphere, you have a non-stop back and forth on genetics, supplements, yeah, that don't be a techniques, <laughs> isolating muscle About groups, myself. consistency, volume, jump volume, natty, unnatty, mm -hmm. science-based, old school, and the list goes on. He know his shit, because yes, all of these topics are discussed a lot um like i follow a lot of, of gym people um so yeah they they will disagree and sometimes they will have their little little drama or whatever but you know it's usually not taken to a physical level on with any other variables that can affect the end result of getting absolutely shredded and you have so much back and forth because so many people are trying to become an authoritative figure to make money off of their influence and inherently there's nothing wrong with that but if it goes down like this you could say that's not all positive but this beef started with mike who physically attacked jeff insinuating that jeff is a scammer we all oh. know the science-based guys any top three youtubers tell me if you would described our physique as excellent average or mediocre where would you put that in that i guarantee you it's not an excellent it's somewhere in the middle right science guys really need to answer this question for anything why is it that you remain so mediocre yet you know so much because if i knew a lot of, i'd be very well versed and good at that topic right like say i was some right financial right? wizard i knew how to like read the stock market and i'm like i could see investments and like i could see what businesses are going to succeed i'd be rich right people would be like yeah he's a Genius, because like look at him, he applied it, and it worked. Bodybuilding, you can be like this big or this short in some cases, maybe this short in other cases. It's always short though. Don't call it ambassador. Somehow you're an expert on muscle, but you don't have any. And if you do have any, it's not that well put together, and there's a lot of like holes in the physique. And you've prided yourself on being strong. Little, but I'm strong. If I was stronger than you, dude, it's like strong doesn't matter. You still are trying to squat six plates. I'm not squatting six plates. My legs are still bigger than yours. Sadly, you do need to apply what it is that you know for people to trust you. But they got these nerds or these dorks. They try and prove themselves on shows and they come in like last. There's a lot of scammers, if you guys know, in like the day trading world. Anyone who's a day trader or a Bitcoin guy buying and selling Ethereum or whatever. Really. Like they're day traders sitting in front of things and they're like gonna guess the trends. Those guys are all both artists, guys. Run from them. Those guys are the, the guys. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you bringing that up and let me know. You don't know what you're talking about, brother. I'm talking about in the fitness world. Okay. TLDR. Ooga booga big man say science man scammer because science man doesn't have physique like big man. Right. So Jeff, the and science Jeff has man a over really here, nice back physique. I'm so confused. All the science-based guys. Science guys really need to answer this question for anything. Why is it that you remain so mediocre, yet you know so much? I know I don't need to respond to this, but since he asked, using science-based training, I want natural bodybuilding nationals. This I is his my body. <laughs> so he's talking about, oh, this is a mediocre body. You don't live in the real world. This is a mediocre body?
competitive stage in the World National Bodybuilding Federation. I placed second in my first bodybuilding pro show, and while doing this, I set the Canadian record on the bench press, and I set a provincial okay, record on the squat. I currently weigh 180 pounds at 5 foot 5 inches tall, which is pretty close oh, to my man. natural limit given my height and my <laughs> genetics. That's all besides the point, though, because facts are facts. Information is either right or wrong. It doesn't matter who that information is coming from. If the people with the best physiques had the most knowledge, why would Sebum need a coach? He has the best physique on the planet. Who could possibly know more than him? Well, it's pretty obvious that bodybuilding success comes from great genetics and really hard training. And if you want to make it in the IFBB, steroid use. I like science because it gives me more confidence in what actually works and what doesn't because it isolates variables. If you trust a big guy's advice over scientific studies, that doesn't bother me. I listen to what big guys have had to say. Okay, that's a completely fair and reasonable response. He didn't really yeah, throw he any little. unnecessary digs, yeah. maybe hinting that this guy wasn't natural, but I wasn't familiar with either of these guys before this interaction, so I don't know if Mike is public about his usage or not, if he's naughty or if he's not. But if that video is really what incited this action... That, that's what called him? Wait, I thought... <laughs> I'm thinking the, the big nigga is about to respond and then Jeff about to say something back and it was going to get increasingly more hostile. That was the end of it. And when you saw him, you attacked him. He definitely on steroids because they're not fucking there. Something's wrong. That looks a lot like roid rage behavior to me. I just don't see the point in crashing out over a literal harmless Instagram response video, especially when you threw the first digital punch to begin with. Because ironically, he also threw the first physical one as well. But here, Jeff went on to Instagram to respond to this with you a picture better of them the breaks the off hospital him. by saying, if you've seen the video by now, I want to clarify the incident. First, I want to give an update that I got a CT scan the other day and I'm okay. In case you didn't see it, this is exactly what happened and there was many witnesses. Mike Van Wick jabbed me in the throat twice in the middle of the gym and then shoved my cameraman. There is already a line going around that Mike asked me to stay away from him and that I didn't listen and approached him first. This is false and Pure Muscle and Fitness has the security camera footage to prove mm. it. I think they should release it. Mm. This is exactly what happened. I was filming bicep curls for a YouTube short. Mike brushed by me and said, sup, this is our first engagement that day. I chuckled. Mike then said, oh, things are about to get real funny as he walked past me. I then asked him, what do you mean by then? And I made sure my cameraman was filming in case he tried any funny business. Then he walked back towards me and said, turn that camera off and immediately jabbed me in the throat and I fell onto the floor. Pure Muscle and Fitness allows filming, by the way. I stood back up and he told me to never talk about him ever again. Then he jabbed me in the throat for a second time, turned my videographer and pushed him against the cable machine. And then he walked oh. away. That's the full story, and there's gym security footage to prove it. It's up to the gym if they want to release it. As of now, Pure Muscle and Fitness is still allowing Mike to train clients wow. at the gym. I also want to Even say I really, up, really, really appreciate the outpouring support from the community and from other gym members. <laughs> it's honestly making the situation a lot easier to deal with for me, so thank you all so much. I don't I know why he with attacked Jeff. me other than he really, really, really hates my training stunt. I certainly gave him absolutely no reason to hate me. And if I did, there's no excuse to physically attack someone over a disagreement. My opinion is the resultant anger was brought on by the clip I posted yesterday responding to his question about science-based training. Pretty wild stuff. Yeah, overall, I mean, this is just an insane reaction to some online beef. Sounds like a sensitive, tough guy with a lack of emotional control. What's kind of That's funny so is weird. the top comment on Mike's original video is, lol, enjoy the prison workouts. That will also be interesting to see if anything like that happens, because who knows if charges will actually be pressed here, or you if lawsuits better press come out of all this, the charges. this all happened in Canada. They're a little bit more relaxed than the lawsuits over there is what they are down nah. here in the US. And this is such a weird situation because you normally don't expect influencers at this size to be crashing out physically assaulting each other you would think that would be a little bit beneath them but i guess this channel really proves time and time again that not much is below certain Jeff got millions. they really do crash out over I the think. dumbest things possible okay so quick update mike has now officially been banned from that gym good but as of recording this, there's no update on any criminal charges or lawsuits filed yet. But other than that, as many of you guys know, Mad City's doing an exclusive Halloween drop, which you guys only have about a week. Jeff, if you don't press charges, if you don't come after him with the full extent of the law, you want some bullshit. Because <laughs> you got it on camera. And you said the gym has cam camera footage as well. You got proof on top of proof. I would come at him hard. And you doing this and it gets leaked online? That's hella embarrassing. I mean, a lot of people are on Jeff's side, but it's still, it still makes him look like a little bitch because he walked up on him and, and like shoved him across the goddamn, goddamn gym.
He said he grabbed him by his throat and like shoved him. Like what? All that because of his response? There has to be more to it. But or maybe yeah, he just on steroids and he going crazy. <laughs> like because that that don't make no sense for you to get that mad by his response. He didn't even insult you or anything. Very, very strange business. But yeah, this is wild. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!